as after continued collaboration with county officials, the Florida Department of Health, my executive team, we made the difficult decision to close schools effective Monday, March 16th. In the spring of 2020, our lives and the lives of millions across our country changed. Businesses were shut down, parks and beaches were closed, and schools were forced to convert to an online platform with little to no preparation. At times, it may have seemed like our hope was buried in the overwhelming reality of this pandemic, but somehow our country continued to soar. Here at St. John Paul II Academy, we felt every punch that this pandemic threw our way. Our students were forced into virtual distance learning. Our teachers obligated to become masters of technology overnight. And our campus that we pride ourselves with such enthusiastic community was now just classrooms filled with empty desks and vacant halls. There were no students cheering in the bleachers, no one rushing to class in the busy hallways, no smiling faces eager to learn the new lesson of the day. But somehow, our community continued to soar. In a span of three months, our entire way of living changed and our sense of normal was redefined. Our faces became hidden under the protection of our masks, our hands dried by the constant use of sanitizer, and our minds always active in adapting to new rules and guidelines. And even so, we continued to soar. Our theme for this school year is Together We Soar. Here at St. John Paul II Academy, we are more than just a school that teaches academics. We are also a school that provides hope where there is doubt, leadership where there is indifference, community where there is separation, and flight where there is stillness. Because no matter what happens, we know that St. John Paul II Academy is ready to overcome any challenge thrown our way, because together we will soar. Following in the footsteps of St. John Baptist of LaSalle, who faced daily challenges as the Brothers of the Christian Schools were established, we can take from his example that when life throws us a curveball, it is important for us to be able to adapt and work through it. In these past few months, we hope that we have taken every precaution necessary to reopen this academic year. However, this was no easy task. Adhering to the changing protocols and guidelines was the ultimate test of our community's fortitude. This school year will test us like never before. This includes our faculty and staff, our families, and especially our students. We will be asked together to meet the responsibility of this new world reality. As we begin this year, I want to thank each and every member of this blessed community. It is through the dedication and love that I see in all of you that makes this being together so worthwhile. I am proud of this school for what we have accomplished. I pray that God will continue to bless us with good health and watch over the safety of our students, faculty and staff and our entire community. In the words of St. John Paul II, one of our patrons, and I quote, never ever give up on hope, never doubt, never tire, and never become discouraged. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. <laughs>